Hi, I'm Travis, and this is Handcrafted of Landy. After the last couple projects, I figured out a couple things. First one is, I haven't been camping in way too long. It's time to fix that. Unfortunately, this is not the video to fix that. But what this is a video to fix is my other problem, is I have too much electronic crap and I have no way to organize it. So today, on Handcrafted Dover Landing, I'm going to be building a one, my next two foot cart. So if you haven't seen the first episode, my two foot, foot cart is, it's cart, two foot by two foot, maximum footprint on the ground. The first one was a dual stage dust collector, which the video turned out pretty well and the dust collector works phenomenally well. Uh, it has a built-in muffler, really cool. You should go check that video out. But today, it's going to be organizing all of my electronics. Now, this particular build isn't going to be just for electronics. You can use this for pretty much anything else. This is going to be a four-drawer uh, uh, rolly storage unit. So, four drawers. That's it. Should be fairly simple. I uh, decided to go buy some additional lumber. You can tell, if you can see back over here, that... That, this lumber is decidedly not that stuff. This is why. This is maple. And looks prettier. This is sanded both sides. Definitely a plus. This is about $10 less than that. Probably just due to uh, its use. This is, tends to be used more for um, cabinetry. The last bit is... This is supposed to be true half inch. Let's go check that out real quick. And it is true half inch. I bought it from one of the big box stores. Um, you can only buy it from one of the two big box stores, so go take a look. But like I said, cheaper, sandable sides, looks nicer, and is a true half inch. Like the uh, last two foot cart build, I made up a set of cut, a cut sheet in order for uh, to process this lumber. This will be free and available in the link below or in the description below. All right, time to start processing this. Did you enjoy that time lapse? Well, it only took me about an hour to break it all down, which is not horrible. You may have saw a little bit of out order at the very end where I went back into the final sheet, cut off a little bit more and made more pieces. Well, that's because I screwed up on my cut sheet. These here for the drawers, I had all of my shallow drawers, which are gonna be four inches minus a half, so three and a half inches. And then these are going to be eight inches. Well, I had four of one side, but only one of the other. I screwed up the diagram, the document that will be updated uh, before this video comes out. And then the updated document will be up. This um, sheet was also wider than four foot, which was very beneficial to me. Uh, what that allowed me to do is change up the cut sheet just a little bit more. The bottom and top came out of a single path and then the drawer fascias the fronts all came out of one 
section as well. And I did that because I wanted to try to match grain. I thought that might be kind of cool. Uh, they've all been planed for, I want to say about an eighth of an inch gap all the way across the, between each drawer that may allow them to slide easier back and forth. Yeah. Next part's going to be, I'm going to put a rabbit in all of these a quarter inch, yeah, quarter inch up, a quarter inch in, and it's going to be about a quarter inch wide. I am not, or I, I'm actually putting it in the bottom, through the bottom, or in the bottom of all of these. I picked up some five millimeter veneer, which comes out to 0.20, 0.21 inches so it has just a little bit of play which I'm fine with so I'm gonna cut the rabbits after those rabbits are cut uh, I'm gonna measure it should be approximately this should be approximately 21 and a half by 22 and a half but I'd rather cut one or measure twice cut once as you saw Measured plenty of times. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and start on my rabbits. So just in case you guys saw what I was doing there, I measured the height down to a quarter inch. And then I attempted to take the square, put it against the blade, measuring a quarter inch. That one was wrong. Because that doesn't take into account the kerf depth of this particular blade, which is an eighth of an inch. <sighs> Thankfully, this fence that I installed made by Vega is actually really accurate because I spent like six hours installing it. Uh, so this will be, in fact, an accurate distance of quarter inch from the edge of the tooth to the fence. Traditionally, you would want a spoil board on here on the uh, fence. I don't have one set up. Maybe that'll be another project for another day. But now... This is set up the way it is. I'm gonna go ahead and start running all of the lumber through. And uh, yeah, we'll get the rabbits cut on everything. This, uh, this is gonna be one pass, the first pass, and then I'll check the fitting, and then I might just scooch it over that way just a touch in order to uh, get it to fit. All right. See what I did there? <laughs> Very last second before I decided to make my cut. I decided to try with a piece of scrap. The width looks right. So does the depth. Perfect. You can go check it on the fit. But that should be our first good start. You can check the fit on it to see if I need to make a second pass. But that's just for me to know now. need to make it I will need to make a second pass but let's get these done first so why did I do this it's because I wanted to uh, give myself a couple different tests as I move this out because I just want to move it just ever so slightly. So the piece fits in there. It doesn't need to be super snug, but it needs to be stu snug enough. So move it a full eighth inch over, that'll give me a 0.25 of an inch. That's a 0.03 uh, wider than the lumber. So I'm going to try moving it just a little bit. Once I find the right setting, I'm going to try another path pass and then I'll try the actual uh, shelves or drawers so I went to the full additional eighth and it fits perfectly snug apparently the wood at least on the edges is a little wider than the five millimeters supposed to be so we're gonna give it another test run on the opposite side do one more test fit then we're gonna go ahead and cut the uh, drawers. So, at those, these longer lengths, it's just a little bit wider. So, 
I'm going to knock that down and go test fit. I should have stopped with the first one, but I didn't. You know, the slop it made is acceptable. I will uh, live with it, and it's just for electronics. It's not going to be a ton of weight on this. All right, let's keep on going. Four bottoms cut, one dinner later, here I am. This is just dry fitted. Just wanted to see if it were, if it was gonna fit. I did have to go through and clean out the bottom of the, no, these are actually dados, not rabbits. Rabbits do not have um, fit. They're only enclosed on one side, not both. All right. Where am I at now? It's time to start assembling the drawers and assembling the cabinet that they'll go in. These drawers are not just gonna be free sliding. I thought I would issue myself a challenge. Besides trying to find the stuff, I'm gonna actually use full pull out drawer sliders. So those should be able to do a full pull out. They don't have soft clothes and nothing like that. They were expensive enough as they were, but they're supposed to hold a hundred pounds. I don't think I'm gonna get a hundred pounds in any of these drawers, although they are huge. If I were to do it over again, no, I'd probably make it, still make it the same size. All right, so I need to put away the table saw. I need to unpack the other lumber that I purchased out of the back of the truck because I have to use the truck tomorrow. Uh, and then it's going to be assembling the cabinet and then assembling the four drawers. And that's where I'm gonna end it off tonight. Um, I'll do another time lapse, but basically, it's gonna be the exact same as the other one. You know, top, bottom, three sides. These are just gonna get glued and tacked into place and then I'm gonna have clamps on them to hold them in place for the time being. I could probably have made these stronger, had the joints if they weren't butt, but if they were rabbited. I mean, I'm really not gonna be putting that much weight in them, but you know what? Next time I make some of these, I'll, I'll, I'll try that. You know, make, my, make it more of a challenge for myself. <sighs> Let's get to it. I think it all four drawers done. They're glued and they're tacked together. There's some glue spots on them that I probably am gonna hit with some sandpaper as I go through this process. But more importantly, it's time to install the drawers. Believe it or not, I've never done that. So this is gonna be a new learning experience for me. But from what I understand, so long as both slides are at the same level and straight, it should be relatively easy. There's a lot of different ways that you can do this. One way that I've seen was um, you take the slider, the sliders off that are meant for the drawer, and you attach this first. And I don't know, I don't know about that. But another method I saw was you end up attaching your sliders to your frame first, and then with supports that stick out to put the um, put the uh, drawer at the height you want, you then put in 
um, then you attach the front one to, to the front of the uh, drawer, the front hole. Let me actually show you. So you attach the slider to the uh, cabinet first, this part, to the cabinet. Then you would uh, slide this out a little bit, attach the first hole to the uh, to the uh, drawer, slide it all the way out, get a second one, and then you should be done at that point, or yeah, should be done at that point. So, never done it, gonna do it, see how it goes. I also for the drawers higher up, because on the bottom, I can use a base, and I'm gonna use um, some plywood to help space it out. For the other ones, I ended up getting these Craig jigs a long while back out of a kit that I've never used any parts of, so I figured I might as well just break these out of the box. Now there's a nice little lip that'll seat against the edge here, which should probably keep them fairly straight, but now if you get that, yeah, anyways, let's see how it goes. that we're done I know there was a few jump cuts around there just ignore it so if uh, you don't care what the front looks like you're done you got four drawers and they work but some of you the suit some of you saw some of that wood floating about you're like well, you kept that for a reason, so just show us already while I'm showing you. It's going to be faceplate, uh, face bits for each drawer. Now they should be cut with enough room to put an eighth of an inch gap between each and every one of them. But that's why I drew this giant A on here. That's the reason why I messed with the uh, plans a little bit is because honestly, I kind of wanted this to all be the same grain all the way down. It kind of looks, kind of looks cool. How am I going to attach this? Actually, it's going to be fairly simple. You get a piece of wood that's an eighth inch thick and put it down here underneath at the very bottom. I'm going to take double sided sticky tape, sticky tape on the back of this. And then I think I have some 5 8 inch screws and then I'm going to screw into the back of this. It's going to hold that all together, give it a nice finished look. Let's do it. Okay, so here we are. Unfortunately, I'm going to call this the end of the project for the night. Um, I need to take another egg pop on the top. And the middle of the top is bowed in, which sucks. Um, nothing I'm really going to do about that. I also don't have any 3 8 inch screws that I wanted, so I could attach this from the back. And the tape just doesn't, didn't want to stick for some other reason, so it's kind of where we are. I know it looks like it's undone, and you're like, Travis, you're never going to finish it, but uh, I already have some new, some more wood screws on order. 
I'm going to rip that up tomorrow, but I'm calling it done uh, for this project for now because I need to get this video out for um, the weekend because I'm busy all weekend. That's filming for the next project. Or project? Maybe. Anyways, so all that's really left for this guy is sanding, um, sanding, fix that top drawer, and uh, put some casters on. And I'm going to need to do a pull. I, I don't want to put a handle on this because I catch stuff on my clothing. Um, sucks. Uh, I'm thinking of just notching the top of these. So I'm going to have to build a jig for the, uh, um, uh, for the router. And I'll just wrap those out. It's not a big deal. So I hope you enjoyed. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day. So last night after I finished filming, I kind of felt bad that I said that I was not going to show you this done. And it's not all the way done, but I managed to get the uh, drawers screwed, or the uh, faces screwed into the drawers, and I got the casters on. But when hands started taking the liberty to start loading this thing up, there's a lot of room in here. I have a lot of parts. More needs to go in here, I'm pretty sure. But I just kind of wanted to give you an idea of what I wanted to do. So, in drawer one, it's going to be all my wiring. For now, I'm putting my uh, pens in here, because I don't have a better idea. Eventually, I was thinking about putting some bars across this, uh, from side to side to hold the rolls. I don't know if I'm going to quite need that, but it's always a fun idea. So you got 12, 14, I thought I had some 16 in here, but here's some 18, then some 20, then some 22 floating around somewhere. Small stuff, so I don't recall. Then we got all my attach down points and different sensors and plugs and connectors. Have all my big cases. I have more actually, but here's all the uh, Arduino stuff that I've been working on. So that's kind of home now. Instead of a box <laughs> floating around, I'm going to flip over. Last but not least, so while, uh, as you can tell, that sounds that sounded different. While uh, cutting the studs down, I kind of screwed up those those uh, rails. I don't know. I might change them out. Who knows? But got my bag of tools. Got my center iron. Got my uh, testing station. I put the uh, radio in here for uh, now. This is a nice safe place. But when I go to work on it, all the tools I'm going to want are going to be right in here. So do you happen to need this cart? Well, nine electronics, you might think no. But it's really just four drawers. They're 21 inches by 21 inches squ uh, square. And the two top ones are three and a half inches deep. And the two bottom ones are seven and a half inches deep. The fascias take up additional space. So if it's a little taller than the drawer, it'll fit and it'll close. I learned a lot from this. Would I call this a professional build? No, this is definitely a shop build, but taught me a lot. And uh, it's always a good thing, right? Anyways, uh, I hope that you like seeing the finished product and uh, thanks so much for watching, have a great day.